So with Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus, why did you choose Zeriel? Zeriel um, fits in um, part of it because she's a part of this old lore that was we dug up. And Zeriel in the lore was an angel. She was in the, in the celestial hierarchy. Right. And her deal was that she was put there by, um, by her superiors and said, you know, you're going to observe the blood war. Mm -hmm. And she does so, and she's watching it, and, and she's seeing this. She knows she can do better. Like, there's this ebb and flow, and sometimes the demons are getting ahead, and then sometimes the devils are getting ahead. And she feels like, well, our job is to smite evil. So why are we not going in there? We're a bunch of you know, celestial warriors. Like, why don't we just go down there and take it over? Why don't we smash through all the devils and all the demons and seal it up? or maybe plow right through all the levels of mine. Why don't we boot all the devils and demons out? Um, and so, so she, she chooses to disobey her, her superiors. And she goes down to uh, the material plane. And she, because she's been watching the material plane for a while as well, and she's noticed that you know, humans are very short-lived. They, they, they exist for a very short amount of time. And in that time, they accomplish so much and they, they're filled with so much passion and they have their values and they, they fight for what they believe in and they, and they go to the, even though they know that their, their lives are, are finite. And of course, celestials are eternal and she's, she's kind of like, you know, eternal kind of breeds this apathy. Kind of like, oh, I'm going to live forever and eh, well, you know, things will just come around and go around. It's all cyclical. Mm -hmm. So she's like, screw that. She goes down the material plane and she goes to the city of El Terrell because they are this, uh, this uh, city of warriors and paladins and she trains them. She's like, well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna teach you how to be devil fighters. And they're like, we're on board, like an angel's just come down and it's gonna train us. So she gets this army together and they charge through and they go to Avernus and they wreck the place, like they just do it. But they're betrayed. And in that betrayal, they are sealed down there. And Zeriel turns back to, you know, you know her, all her you know, army is there. A, a great portion of them run, turn and run. They go back through the portal, they seal it behind them, and Zeriel's stuck. And she's okay with it, but she, all of her, her, like her army is, is starting to wear because they're mortal. And they, they're just not able to deal with the... the the energy of hell and the, the, the weight of it, um, because it has a presence on you. We've, we've worked in things that it, the longer you're in there, the more it's weighing on you. Mm -hmm. So, so Zeriel fights until, you know, she defeats Bell, who's the, the ruler of, of Avernus at that time, um, boots him out, and, but it comes at such a cost that she's whittled down her army. There, there's, it's starting to fray at the edges, and that's when she falls. So she has this fall, and then in falling, she becomes a devil herself. And Asmodeus, who sees all this, is like, you did a pretty good job, <laughs> and we need a warrior of your caliber because Avernus is the place where the demon or the blood war is happening. Right. So that, that, whole, that whole layer is basically a battleground. It's just an eternal war that's happening. And so Asmodeus sees Ariel as like, you've just proven yourself to be the person for the job. So, Which, you know, a devil isn't necessarily who you want to impress. No. <laughs> you know? No. But, yeah, yeah, a strong resume. Yeah, invading oh, how. totally. Yeah, she, she did like, you know, she came in, she did her contract job and was proven that you, know, you can do this. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> so, so Ariel... Um, you know, in, in the story and in sort of my head is like she suffered, she had a seed of wrath in her. Yeah. So there was this, this part in, inside of herself, like she was an angel in celestial, but there was this seed of this like disobedient wrath. Right. So she went down there and did it. And what Zariel also didn't know was that there's this cosmic balance between chaos and law. And the devils uh, who represent the, the law side of it are are opposing the, the demons, which are the chaos side. Now, if the demons were to defeat the devils and overrun the nine hells, chaos would threaten the whole multiverse. Like they would just devour the, the multiverse and, and annihilate it. They're kind of like this, 
like annihilating principle of chaos and evil. So the devils are actually doing the multiverse a solid by being in Avernus and holding the demons back. So Zariel as an angel, maybe through some, she doesn't see that, that broader, that broader picture, or she just got sort of tunnel vision and hyper-focused on defeating evil, like that's my job. Um, she throws all that out and just goes because she wants to, now as an archdevil running Avernus, she wants to def destroy the demons, push them back down into the abyss, and go after them. Right. So, and I, as a character... That's a perfect yeah. character for everything that the players are going to be dealing with. Yeah. Right? Like, that's the perfect villain. Like, oh, the man. villain is literally what you can become. Yeah. Yes. You, anybody who goes in there can easily become kind of sucked into the, the temptation of what the Avernus and the Nine Hills has to offer, which is, like, explore your darker side and throw all the goodness out of the window and forget about your, your highly held beliefs and your lofty ideals and just corrupt yourself and, and gold and power and, you know, all the, the you know, knowledge, magic, all the stuff devils can offer. And, and you can indulge it, you know, to the highest level you want. So, um, and you can <laughs> lose, you know, everything that makes you human and everything that makes you good. And, and even everything that you like about your character. Yes, yes. Your character can just, you can just, yeah, flush your character down the, you know, the hell toilet. And I, and I like that, you know, Zariel's sort of the, the figurehead of that. She's, and, and in the adventure, Zariel's redeemable. Like, you can actually, you meet along the way, you, you learn about her story. And so as you go through the adventure, you learn about what happened to her and what happened to her, the, her companions who are around her.